Will you say whether the president would sign a three-week um, extension of funding for DHS if Congress sends that to him? Yeah. Well, uh, Darlene, it's first important for us to recognize that there actually is one piece of funding legislation that has passed the Congress, uh, at least the United States Senate, with bipartisan support just today. Uh, and that piece of legislation was a bill that would fund the Department of Homeland Security for the rest of, rest of this fiscal year. And uh, it is a bill that was negotiated between Democrats and Republicans on Capitol Hill last year with the input of the administration. Uh, it sets appropriate funding guidelines for this critically important agency, and it has uh, earned strong bipartisan support in the United States Senate. It is now sitting on the floor of the United States House of Representatives, and the Speaker of the House now has one fundamental question. Is he going to put that bill up for a vote? If he does, it will pass with bipartisan support, and the agency that is responsible for protecting the homeland of the United States will be fully funded for this fiscal year. The Secretary of Homeland Security has made clear just how important this is. Members of Congress in both parties have made clear how important it is for that agency to be funded for the full fiscal year. Uh, the question is whether or not the Speaker of the House will deliver. And uh, I was, before I came down here, I was actually delayed because I was printing out uh, something that all of you have read. On the day after the election, the Speaker of the House, John Boehner, and the Senate then Minority Leader, Mitch McConnell, wrote an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal that apparently was ironically titled, Now We Can Get Congress Going. So I think they've made pretty clear today, um, at least, well, I guess the Speaker has a chance to, to pull the fat out of the fire here. But um, we'll see if he's willing to do it and willing to live up to the promises that he made to the American people on the day after the election when Republicans, with a lot of fanfare, uh, took the majority of both the House and the Senate. What happens if he's not willing to do that? Where, where does it go from here then? <laughs> Darlene, you're so pessimistic today. Um, well, listen, if the president is faced with a choice of having the Department of Homeland Security shut down uh, or fund that department for a short term, uh, the president is not going to allow the agency to shut down. But let's remember how exactly we got here. We got here because back in December, the Speaker of the House had on his desk a compromise proposal that had bipartisan support to fund the entire federal government through the end of the fiscal year, through September 30th. And he made a strategic calculation that he would fund the entire government through the end of the fiscal year, except for the Department of Homeland Security. And he said, we're going to hold back the funding for the Department of Homeland Security until we can figure out how to maximize our political advantage. We want to figure out the best way that we can actually score some political points with the passage of that budget. Now, here we are two months later, a little over two months later. It is the day of the self-imposed deadline, the deadline that was imposed by Republicans. And apparently, over the course of the last two months, they have not yet figured out how to maximize their political advantage. And it exposes the danger of playing politics with our homeland security. And it represents an abject failure of leadership on the part of the new Republican majority to not get this done. So the truth is, if the president is faced with the choice between a short-term extension and shutting down the Department of Homeland Security, he will sign the short-term extension. But the good news is that's not the choice that's facing the Speaker of the House, and it's not the choice that should be facing every member of the United States Congress. Right now, the choice the Speaker is facing is, are we going to fund the agency for three weeks, or are we going to fund it for the full year? And are we going to do it at levels that are agreed upon uh, uh, by Democrats and Republicans as clearly in the best interest of the American people? So the truth is the choice for the president's a little difficult, but the choice for the Speaker of the House is really easy. Let's hope he makes the right one.